After a meal, within a few minutes, really, after a meal, you start to see a rise in blood glucose. Parallel to that rise in blood glucose, you see an increase in insulin secretion. See how they kind of the profiles are almost identical. Insulin follows the rise of blood glucose. That insulin is secreted by the beta cells of the pancreas. Insulin released after a meal will promote the uptake of glucose specifically into muscle and adipose tissue while at the same time promoting the storage of glucose in the form of glycogen in liver and muscle. These effects of insulin will ultimately reduce blood glucose after a meal. So there are really a variety of things that get activated a variety of things that get inhibited. What gets activated is glycogen synthesis <clears throat> and glycolysis, two processes that consume glucose because there's plentiful glucose in the bloodstream. Okay? The reverse processes glycogenolysis which produces glucose and gluconeogenesis which also produces glucose from smaller molecules are inhibited <clears throat> by specifically increasing the number of glut glucose transporters GLUT4 on the surface of these two tissues muscle and adipose tissue will pick up glucose from the bloodstream in an insulin dependent manner these two tissues constitute a significant portion of body mass and as such they can contribute to a significant amount of uptake of glucose from the bloodstream reducing the amount of glucose in the bloodstream.